third option, February 24th, only on Netflix. Holly Holm, 35 years old, Jermaine Durandamy is... And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Jermaine Durandamy, orthodox fighter in blue, the southpaw Holly Holm is in white. You see the difference in their stances already. Holly on her toes, Jermaine flat-footed, Muay Thai kind of walking her down. You know, that's the difference in the styles. Interesting to see how it plays out as this fight progresses. Yeah, Holly has a much more American kickboxing style. And right away, Jermaine with a right kick to the body. I'm really curious to see whether or not Holly employs any grappling. Because that has been the issue with Jermaine. Yes. And I'm really curious as to what kind of training Jermaine has done in preparation for Holly and whether or not she has anticipated that possibility. You know, when Holly Holm is at her best, you know, we talked about this in the back, you know, it's mostly whenever she's countering, you know, and Jermaine is going to oblige her by going forward and trying to attack her. But she's not going to do so recklessly. She's not going to just run at her and provide big openings. Yeah. She's going to take her time and use her massive experience. Because this, as long as Holly doesn't try to take this fight to the ground, this is essentially a kickboxing fight. Yes. Right. And there's not a whole lot of women that have ever walked the face of the planet that can kickbox with Jermaine Durand. Home lands the leg kick there to the lead leg of Jermaine Durandamy. We do wonder if Holly would consider shooting at any point in time. She has worked for Izzy Martinez for years. Jiu-Jitsu coach Rafael De Freitas certainly would have an advantage there if the fight does go to the canvas. Well, look at the stance of Jermaine. Nice and straight up. No, no worry whatsoever about the takedown so far. She's fighting Muay Thai right now. Yes. And if you let Jermaine Durandamy fight Muay Thai, you're letting her fight her style. You're engaging. Oh, nice right here. Yep. She caught her clean. You're engaging her where she's best if you allow her to fight a Muay Thai type of fight. And she's also aware that Holly had a big problem with Valentina Shevchenko, who fights in a very similar way, although for the South Boston. Yes. Yeah. Prevailing wisdom was that Jermaine Durandamy would have the decided power advantage tonight. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. But that doesn't mean that Holly doesn't have nasty power, especially with her kicks. She tagged with the right hand again. When she goes, Jermaine really explodes it to her punches. Well, her, her positioning and her, her distance control is amazing. And when she's not worrying about being taken down, you get to see how good she really is. There's a lot of people that have severely underestimated how good Durandamy is because people have taken her down and wrestled her before. And she's just not that good at that. And DC, you could speak to that. Yeah, Holly's doing a great job of actually throwing that left hand and then following with the right leg kick. She's landed three, four times. Um, but yeah, Jermaine is actually able to be close enough. There you go with the common left hook right there by Durandamy. And as the fight progresses, if she starts to get right hand, left hook by Durandamy, yes. She tagged it twice there, the right hand and the left hook. Yes, and as the fight goes on, if Holly allows her to keep getting comfortable, kicks will start to follow those combinations. And an effortless control of distance by Durandamy. She's catching it with that leg kick, but she's slapping her with the foot. Well, immediately following the main event, don't miss a recap of all tonight's action on the FS1 UFC 208 post-fight show. Oh! Coming up on FS1, streaming live on Fox Sports Go for those watching in Canada, TSN. Beautiful counter right hand by Durandamy. Just, again, beautiful control of the distance. You see that control? That just slides back and throws that piston right hand. Holly, that, Holly, Holly reach. Yeah, Holly has that habit of actually blitzing with like three, four punches. And I think they've trained for it. They've trained for that combination, that that right hand, straight left hand, and then the kick that follows. So Durandamy is actually countering when Holly goes forward. Durandamy continuing to move forward, close the distance under a minute now to go round one. Holly is landing strikes though. I mean, she is not. Oh, there oh, it there is. Goes take down. Oh, look at this. Durandamy goes for the chop. Durandamy came in with a takedown defense north of 80%. Granted, small sample size, but so far, so good. Holly attacks that single leg. Jermaine's doing a good job. Great balance to actually stay upright right now. Well, now at least she understands that the threat of the takedown is a real possibility. 
Now, the issue is, Joe, is that Holly isn't a wrestler. How right. does her body respond to all the wrestling positions that she's not used to? Right. And whether or not this affects her ability to fight off the strikes. There's a nice knee to the body there by Duran. Very interesting first round. Like round two underway. Well, both women have a tremendous amount of world title fight experience. Holly inside the octagon and Durandamy outside. Right back, on that, right back on that combination that she was going with the first one. But again, she's catching her at the very end of that with the foot, whereas Durandamy just slammed the shin into the inner thigh meat. Big difference in the way it impacts. Holly's kind of catching her at the very end of things. Holly right here. Yeah, beautiful. She is just barely sliding out of the way and then returning. And there's so much more danger involved in what Durandamy is doing. That's where Holly shines, with those high kicks. And I would like to see Holly throw that high kick behind those punches. Looks like that straight right from Durandamy got Holmes' attention, head strikes. Jermaine in control there. Nice one, two by Holly Holm. Front leg side kick to the thigh. Holly is excellent at that. And also that oblique kick. That whole Winkle John crew utilizes that kick so well. The randomy is really sitting down every time Holly goes to enter. You see her level changes. She's sitting on her punches. Look at that. Every time, look at that. Every time Holly faints, she sits down and looks look in the slammed. counter. Yeah, she's looking to really get some damage off on her when she goes first. Oh, oh look at that. And there it is. Just serious sting behind that punch. Duranami very efficient with her striking attack here through seven minutes or so. But she's going mostly counter. Yeah, and you see the way she's moving. She just epitomizes that Muay Thai style. Whereas Holly is good, good by Holly. Nice yeah. the body there by Holly. Those knees up. Good by Holly to actually cause some wrestling positions because even if she doesn't score the takedown here, maybe the arms will start to blow up. Jermaine will start to tire because the five round experience advantage belongs to Holly Holt. Absolutely. The clinch is where Durandamy does some of her best work if she can get some separation. Fighting for hooks here as we bring in Holly Holmes coaches. Keep flanking, keep flanking, keep pummeling. Watch your sidestep, watch your cross trip. There it is, drag your foot off the cage. Let's keep pummeling here. Drop to that double girl. Izzy Martinez calling for a drop to the double here. We'll see if Holmes obliges. I think you have a really good point, DC, that this is not her style, and how is her body going to respond to this? Yeah, when you, when you haven't done it your entire life. You know, even guys that are lifetime wrestlers start to tire as the fight goes long with a lot of wrestlers. You know, how is a boxer? She's trained wrestling as she's gotten older. Uh, you don't know how she, that's going to affect her cardio. But now her hands are getting locked behind Jermaine's butt here. Durandamy, yep. Now here she needs to clear this beautiful place. knee to the body. And her knees in the clinch are outstanding. And Holly aware of that, and she's throwing her own up. And there's another one by Durandamy. And another one. Durandamy does a nice job creating angles for those knees. Very but technical. now Holly did a great job of getting her back up against the clinch. And there's that, that thigh punch that we talked about. So what was the call? You know, you got a few knees off, but now you're back with your back against the right. side of the octagon. So you feel like she should have separated. You got, if you're the better striker, you separate once you get off the fence. I'll see if she decides to do that now. So Holly's she's got gonna, it again. Yep. But again, she's trying for the plum. She's trying for that Muay Thai. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful knees to the body. Yep. Beautiful. Those are strong. Ran me back to the fence under a minute here to go round two. Uh oh, Holly's got her back almost. Look at Jermaine using the fence to try to scrape Holly off. And go back to the under. Good job by Durant to me. Way to use that fence to actually scrape your back back across to get back back flat, get it from behind you. It's gonna be interesting to see how this grueling style affects both fighters as we get into the third. Holly needs to get it. it Look at that. She's taking some big knees whenever Jermaine is able to actually turn her and get some space. They're so crisp, too. But Holly's doing good, though. She's managed to close the distance. 
actually put Jermaine in this grueling type of fight. And she may be the slightly smaller woman, but appears to be the stronger woman in the clinch thus far. She's doing that by staying in better position. That's it. Oh! Oh, oh no! Uh, that was after the bell. That was late. Ooh. That was late. late. That's it. Oh man, it's so late. Okay. Chad Mendez, Jose Aldo. That's what that reminds me of, right? Yeah, it might it might be worse than that. It might be later. Jermaine Aranami apologizing there. Todd Anderson, the referee, did go over to the Aranami's corner. It doesn't mean anything, though, because the damage has already been done, and it could easily change the fight. Holly could be severely compromised now. That was a devastating elbow. Yeah. You saw her wobble, and she got, I mean, she got blocked. So some controversy injected into the middle of this inaugural UFC Women's Featherweight Championship fight. Round three here of a possible five. We'll see how Hall responds. With those late strikes like that, if they are fight-changing strikes like that, referee has to step in and, and I mean... Take a point. Take yeah. a point at worst case, you know? I'm being told that it was a punch and not an elbow. I thought it was an elbow. Okay. They were a little caught up in it. Every time she blitzes, she sits back on that right hand. Under four minutes here to go, round three. Home again, pressing forward here. Well, what do you do in that kind of a situation? You don't want to stop the fight. No. Holly will tell you she's fine. But it was just... I think you got to take a point away. You have to level it, right? You have yeah. to level it you after a foul. You make it right. With such a big, big shot that landed. Right. Well, Holly seems to have recovered. at least partially recovered, but, you know, we don't know. And we won't know until she really gets tagged again. That's what I was going to say. Until she takes another big shot, she'll seem okay. Head strikes 32 to 4 for Jermaine Durandamy thus far as we approach the three minute mark here round three. Beautiful combination there. She missed with that right but landed that hard leg kick behind it. And that's what starts happening. As she starts to find her range, the kicks will start to come after those punches. Look at her throwing that right hand when Holly blitzes. Holly's got to be very careful as she enters. She might want to enter with a kick first now because Jermaine is trying to time those punches as she goes in. Yo, that's a big, long reach from the outside. And particularly if she wants to land a kick, she might want to land a side kick. Yes. Something, something unusual that Durandami doesn't see a lot of. Yes. Because Holly's got a very good side kick, and that'll at least give her some distance and leave her head much further back. Holm still appears partially committed to the takedown. 0 for 4 on her attempts thus far. Holly continues to circle towards that power right of Durandami. Oh, oh, beautiful kick to the body. Good combination by Durandami. She gets that foot off the canvas to the target very quickly. Very nice leg kick there by Holly. But Durandam is the inside. Remarkable what Holly Holm has accomplished. Turned pro in 2011. Only went full time in MMA in 2013. Durandam just walking her down here. Doesn't seem like she has the most respect for the power uh, of Holly Holm right now. Well, oh, there was a nice leg kick yes. there by Holly. That one landed hard on the shin. And now she's got the clinch yep. right in front of us. Double underhooks. Almost. And Durant with defense by Durant. Yeah, and she's framing her off with that right elbow. Look for those knees to start landing. Oh, good left hook. Oh, yeah, good left hook again. Got to be somewhat discouraging for Holly Holm. That appeared to be her best opportunity thus far to get this fight to the ground. Durandami not having it. Oh, Looking for the no spin. Win. Almost gave her a oh, oh, right hand. Now you're seeing some legitimate swelling on that left eye of Holly Holm, at least to the left side of it. Yeah, right there. 
Total strikes advantage Durant. Six. Six. If that swelling continues, she's going to have a very difficult time seeing that right hand coming. Yes. And that's for me the best shot. Well, and every time Holly goes to that lead leg kick, Duranami greets her with a right hand. You know, it seems like when Holly goes to faint, she kind of has that exhale, makes that sound. It's almost like she's got a tell. Uh, I'm coming, you yeah. know, because she's doing that little exhale. It's a boxing thing, but... Oh, beautiful! Oh! Oh, man, she hey. did it again! Take a point he's away! He's got to, he's got to. Oh! 100%. Take a point away. 100%. What is this? What is this referee? Go to the championship rounds, round four. Holly Holm and Jermaine Duranami here for the featherweight title. I can completely understand that she's caught up in the moment. And especially after getting tagged, she wants to come back. But when the buzzer goes off, that's it. But that's what it is, Joe. You know, for a high level kickboxer like that to get kicked in the head, yeah. probably a little embarrassed, a little upset. So she wants to go and get her back. But, but there are rules. Right, particularly for her because she did it already. Um, staying composed and offensive here. Yep, and really pushing the pace now. Holly's really setting the pace in this fight. Well, Holly should be angry now. Right. You know, and maybe that's going to help her. She's been fouled twice. And these rounds are close. They are close rounds. Well, that certainly was. That was a big moment in that fight. That head kick rocked her. She goes down to one hand. It's working. I'm coming out. And this is where Holly has the advantage. Yes. As we get into the championship round. Well, Holm has continued to mix it up. Maybe a level change here. Five takedown attempts thus far. None have been secured for Holm. But at the very least, she's making Durandamy do what she doesn't want to do. Grapple, right. yep. clinch. And she's making her do uncomfortable movements that she's not conditioned for. This yep. is not her normal thing. She's not used to it. Yeah, as long as she keeps Durandamy in the center of the octagon and kickboxes her, that's Durandamy's world. But this is very different. This ref wants to step in bad, too. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's been stepping forward and back over and over again. He wanted to go in bad. Three minutes to go in round four. Well, New York obviously does not have a whole lot of experience in championship fights. And that's something that we're seeing highlighted by this event. I mean, that will change. They have a great history of combat sports, of course. But MMA, obviously, has only been here for a year. Yeah. Nice inside leg kick by Durandamy. You're seeing some of Durandamy's work to those legs of Holly Holm. Swelling inside and out. Nice jab. Beautiful. Holly continuing to be the more active fighter. Durandamy, the slightly more effective fighter, at least statistically. I think you're totally right with that. that the key eye, the tell that she does right before she throws yeah. the shots. She's doing them before she throws them. Before she throws and she faints. Everything comes behind her exhale. But she's far more active. She's just constantly throwing something. Oh, oh beautiful kick. Um, closing the distance once again. This is the first fourth round of the MMA career of Jermaine Durandamy. Holly's really working hard to try and get down on that single leg. But Jermaine's doing a very good job of digging two underhooks and not allowing Holly to actually secure the leg close to her body. So although she has her hands on the leg, she cannot get it close to her body to try and finish the takedown. And perhaps fatigue starting to set in for Durandamy. Mouth open, not a great look. Just over a minute here to go round four. And Holmes' pace has not waned. She's taking some big, deep breaths. 
good use of the head there by Hall. Yep, she's doing a great job of head fighting in there. Head under the chin. Good flank, good flank. Left ear tight, left ear tight, left ear tight, chin tight. Pummel, pummel, pummel. That's Izzy Martinez, the wrestling coach. She wants her to get double that head that double, huh? and connect it to Durandamy's face. Hits, Make her uncomfortable. Push her head back. Make it difficult for her to move her upper body correctly. She's trying hard. Nice knee to the body yep. by Durandamy. Durandamy visibly frustrated looking for the referee. Every time there's space. There. Yeah. Every time there's space, Durandamy gets off good knees. And Holly's doing a good job of controlling. Oh, good knee. Another one. End of the round here. We'll see if we'll get any more drama. Here. You know, it could potentially be two rounds apiece. You know, Holly fought well in the last round. Uh, she got the head kick off in the round before, so you never really know what's happening on the scorecard. But Beautiful. they've got to be more active. Both of them have to show the judges, leave that impression as they walk to the octagon after the fight is over. It's very, sorry, it's very, very difficult to call a fight and score a fight at the same time. Right. So, in order to score it, I really think you have to do it in total silence. Uh -huh. Sit there with a pen and a piece of paper and mark down key significant moments. But it's certainly a close fight, and certainly we've seen some weird judging. Hall yeah. would appear to be the fresher fighter here. It's the fourth consecutive UFC fight for her that's been scheduled for five rounds. Once again, Hall just out of range. Durandamy returns fire lanes with the right. But it seems like every time Durandamy actually throws, the punches are landing and the yes. kicks are landing. But it seems like the strikes don't come in bunches as Holly strikes come in bunches. Yeah, Holly is throwing much more volume, but Durandamy has much more impact. And she's like connecting. Oh, oh, is that a headbutt? She hurt her, she hurt her. What'd she hit her with? She hurt her with the left hand. Yeah. And you're seeing a cut now above the left eyebrow of Holly Holm. Big left hand. Oh, she clipped her right on the jaw with the left hand. That perhaps the most significant strike of the fight on either side. Not the randomy sure. could still be in trouble here. Yes. Holly should separate. She should separate and go back to striking. Not sure if it was a clash of heads that opened up that cut from Holly Holm or just a trigger of damage. It was after the punch, the heads came together. You gotta wonder if Holly knows how bad she hurt the random. Right? She'll she's looking she'll for the takedown take down here. She's gonna get this one. 0 oh for 8 for home on her takedown attempts thus far. Holm continues to work here late in the fight. You hear Holly's coach is saying, disengage Holly. Disengage. Got the body lock, thus preventing the referee from stepping in. Now she loses it, and he steps in. There he goes. Look at all the blood. She's still hurt. The ring may still be hurt. Nice leg kick by Holly. Right hand counter by Durandamy. Nice leg kick by Holm after Durandamy landed the right again. Under two minutes to decide this title fight. Again, Holly able to touch Jermaine up top. Back to the clinch we go. Kickbox, they must feel like she's behind. Get back to striking. Her coaches are yelling, get back to striking. Well, they realize how much she was hurt. And I don't think Holly realizes how much she hurt. 
but you can't deny at least the output and the activity of Holly Holmes. She has thrown far more strikes. She has attempted eight takedowns. Durandamy, though, very effective with her strikes tonight, landing 73% of her total strikes on official. 40 seconds to go. It's interesting when the referee chooses to separate them and when he doesn't. It looks like he's want, he wants to. Get in there, dude. You know you want to. He does. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Got a little protest from Durandamy. Yeah. Todd Anderson with Oh, there's a nice knee by Durandamy. 15 Seven, to go. Eight seconds. Oh, oh nice left hook. Was in between them before the bell went off. So Jermaine Durandamy and Holly Holm go the full. We go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47 for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jermaine Jermaine Durandamy is the UFC Women's Featherweight Champion. She's 